So today I wanted to show you how to theme the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T with the Substratum theme engine. And just like yesterday whenever I showed you how to install a Majisk module, it is recommended that you create a Nandroid backup ahead of time because not all themes for the Substratum theme engine will work on the OnePlus 3 and you actually have to take some precautions of how to apply a theme to the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T. Now there is a way to do an emergency I don't want to say restore but an emergency undo so that if you do go into a boot loop, you can boot the OnePlus 3 or the OnePlus 3T into TWRP. And then in the Substratum folder, you'll find a couple of zip files that you can flash with TWRP. That will undo any themes that you have applied. So that just in case you don't have a recent Nandroid backup, or you just don't want to restore from one, then you can flash one of those two or either both of those two zip files. And that will undo all of the layers that you have just applied. So you will need to have the bootloader unlocked. You're going to need to have TWRP. I guess you don't have to have TWRP, but it is advised. So you can have that in Android backup and flash the emergency zip files. But you will have to have root access. So to start, you're going to want to install the Substratum theme engine. And then you're going to want to install a theme that you would like to install. And one that will work with your device. Now again, not all themes will work on the OnePlus 3 but as long as they're compatible with Android 7.0 Nougat it should work as long as you are applying it in a certain way and I'll show you how to do that here in a bit so I have installed the theme engine just now and I've installed a my, my current favorite substratum theme which is the Swift Dark theme does cost money but if you don't like it then you can get a refund but if you want you can just search for substratum or substratum theme and then go through all of the themes that are available there are a lot of them that are free so definitely check out what's available so once you have those installed we're just going to go ahead and launch the substratum application we're going to grant it root access. And this is the intro. So this is the theme engine that's built into AOSP Android. And it's similar to CyanogenMod's Mods theme engine in a way that you can theme both applications and the Android system but since it's baked into the AOSP project then it's more compatible and will be uh, be available on more devices than the CyanogenMod theme engine. So there's a permissions overview we're just going to allow the permissions that it requires and see so here is a little warning. It says it has detected us a boot loop node firmware, which is any Android device with the November to January security update. And it will advise against applying any framework Android system overlays. But I'll show you in a bit that, that that's a little misnomer. It's not really true some themes will work around that but they will requ require a special option whenever you apply it and again 
if you do run into a boot loop, if you don't want to restore from a backup, you can, there are a couple of zip files, rescue emergency zip files in the storage substratum folder. So you'll want to look for that instead of going into the downloads folder whenever you boot into twerp, scroll down a bit and look for the substratum folder. So this is, again, it's just another little warning just so you know that applying the theme the wrong way or a theme that's not compatible with your device can send you into a boot loop. But again, as long as you have a recent Nandroid backup, then you're good to go. So once you launch the application, you're going to get a list of all of the installed substratum themes. So we're just going to tap on the one that we want to apply. This rebuild for the cache process can take a bit of time. So we can expand the notification panel. And you can see a progress meter right here. One of the reasons why I like the Swift Dark, and they also have a Swift Black substratum theme is because of how many devices it supported. This is one of the first themes that supported Nougat. One of the first themes that supported the Pixel. And I've had success with it on Oxygen OS for the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T. I currently have this installed on my OnePlus 3. And this is the one plus, or I'm sorry, on the one plus three T, and this is the one plus three, and I'm going to show you how it works here. So once you tap on a theme you want to install, and then the cache rebuilds, you need to pick the option here. So you need to pick your Android version. So if you have the Google Pixel, then you'll pick that. If you're on any of these other versions for different devices you'll pick those so even though we're on 7.0 right here there's an oxygen os 4 option so we're going to tap the oxygen os 4 then we're going to tap this toggle here to the right and what this toggle does is it it selects all of the applications that can be themed so you can go through here and toggle them on manually or you can toggle that on and it will it will load up all of the apps that can be themed now I will say that you need to come down here and uncheck the settings and I don't know if this is due to me changing the theme within the settings application to the dark theme which I've covered in a previous tutorial, or if Oxygen OS just doesn't like the settings application to be themed. You'll have to experiment with that if you actually want to theme these settings. I like OnePlus's dark theme with the accent, so I'm going to keep that as is. And now for any other applications, say you don't want Hangouts themed, you can just uncheck the box for that application. Generally, you'll want these applied to all of your applications. So once you have that ready, you're just going to tap on the paint roller floating action button here at the bottom right. Now you have a toggle here that if you want to remove all existing themes, which we don't want to do right now, but if you wanted to uninstall a theme, then you will do that. But since we have selected all of them, again, except for the settings application, we're just going to tap on the paintbrush, tap on install selected, and now it's going to install the substratum theme onto our OnePlus 3. 
it will tell us which application it's currently doing. So now we're told that a reboot is required. We're just going to tap on the OK button if you want to reboot now. You can tap on later if you want to reboot later. We're just going to tap on OK so it will go ahead and go through the reboot process. Now, since these themes are using what is built into Android, it's just overriding the current image files for those applications. So as you saw before, the substratum application was white and now it's dark. And it's dark because we selected that theme. We selected that application to be themed. You can see all of the current applications that are themed now. So we can check out the YouTube application that has now been themed dark. You can check out the Google Play Store, which has been themed dark now. And I like these dark and black themes because they save battery life on the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T because they use AMOLED panels. But there are a lot of different themes for you to choose from. I do suggest that you go through a lot of them in the Play Store. I will include a thread for the XDA forums in the full tutorial and you'll find a link to that full tutorial in the description below this video. And that link will take you to a thread on XDA that will show you a discussion that's being had right now with theming with the substratum theme engine on the OnePlus 3T. And people in that thread are talking about which themes work for them, which themes don't. And special instructions like I told you right here with the settings that you may need to be aware of if you want to install a certain theme on your OnePlus 3 device. So that's how to install a substratum theme on the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T. I do recommend that you experiment with all of the themes that are available in the Play Store. And just be aware that as long as you have a recent Nandroid backup, you can always restore from that backup. And then you don't have to worry about being afraid of any kind of boot loop simply by experimenting and testing a certain theme.